What is going on guys? What is a gloomy day here in Pennsylvania? But my day's about to get way better, I hope. This day I've been waiting for, for I swear, my entire hunting career and it's finally happening. Going to Colorado today. Loaded up, leaving here in about two hours. I've been dreaming of this hunt literally my entire life, my entire hunting career, and it's finally happening. Me, my dad, and my brother, we're going out to Colorado elk hunting. Buying tags right over the counter, no guide, no nothing. Me and my brother, we're going up top to the high bluffs, scouted out this area. My dad hunted it actually 25 years ago. I've done a ton of research on it, scouted it out. Think we're ready to go. I'm just, I can't even describe how excited, anxious I am, ready to go on this hunt. Like I said, it's been a dream of mine just for so freaking long. But got a long drive ahead of us, 26 hours here. <clears throat> yeah, 26 hour drive. We're driving straight through, so that's going to be interesting, but I'm excited. We're going to, it's Tuesday, hopefully, you know, we're going to get out there 26 hours. So we have Thursday to uh, mill around, set up our camping area Friday. Me and my brother are going to hike up top, find a place to hunt for the opening day Saturday, get camp set up, and pretty excited, guys. Here's uh, my trailer we're taking out. Got it all stocked up with stuff, ready to roll. My dad, he's actually just staying in the trailer here. He has a bed built. He'll be hanging out in it on the lower land hunting while me and my brother, we go up top. But guys, I'm just unbelievably excited. Can't wait to get on the road. I'm literally just so anxious. I've been pacing around waiting for my dad and brother here. We're all just trying to get ready, get our shit ready. I think we're all packed, ready to go now. But I'm excited, guys. Excited to get on this trip. Well, we're rolling up on about 22 hours in. We're about a half hour into Colorado. Not too much of a view, pretty much uh, the whole way across out east from Pennsylvania. It was pretty much foggy and rainy the whole way to St. Louis. And then obviously dark, the sun starting to come up here a little bit. Still don't see no Rocky Mountains, but starting to get some bluffs here. Some nice scenery. But the sun's starting to come up. Hopefully we'll be seeing the Rockies here pretty soon. Trying to get out of the wind here a little bit, guys, but we are about 20 minutes outside of Gunnison. Give you guys a view here. Some big farm country, it's a big valley, but like I said, 20 minutes outside of Gunnison. It is sunny and 75 right now, but the next two days, the bottom is going to drop out of the temperature. But absolutely beautiful out here. Well guys, we have arrived to where we are camping and hunting at. I'm just beyond excited. You guys will see some of the footage I got on the way out. Just unbelievable views. This is my first time out west, so just freaking phenomenal. And I've done a lot of camping in my life, but where we're set up camping tonight, I've never camped in a spot with a view like this. You guys can take a look. Unfreaking believable to have a mountain like that. 
in the background of camp too. But we got camp set up. Getting dinner cooked now. Got some burgers. Oh hi, I'm Luke, Adam's brother. There's Luke, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. El Padre. But we are ready to roll tonight. I'm excited guys, it's just, I can't stop smiling. I mean, how can't you that view? It's just absolutely beautiful out here. Got our tags. It's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. We're gonna hike up on top. Me and Luke are gonna scout around. We're set up camp up there. My dad's staying down here. Just beyond excited, guys. I can't freaking wait. Well, guys, the sun is coming up. Today's the big day. As you can see, it's pretty chilly out. But today's the day me and Luke are hiking up on the mountain for tomorrow. Tomorrow's opening day here of Elk. We're gonna get our tent and stuff set up up there. Get our spot picked out. Yesterday, we did a bunch of scouting around, actually. This hollow behind us, we went up at about three miles and picked a peak for a secondary spot for maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because Sunday it's gonna snow. There's a threat of up to 16 inches up top, down here in the lower lands. Who knows, the snow is so sporadic out here, you don't know how much you're gonna get. Just gotta see what happens when it comes. But for Saturday, we're gonna tent up there, Friday night, Saturday night. See what happens, but just cooking some breakfast right now. Getting woke up, get some coffee in us and get our packs all packed up, ready to go, and hopefully around noon, start the uh, climb up the mountain. Yesterday's climb was, it was something. I mean, I'm used to the Pennsylvania mountains, but uh, yeah, they ain't got shit on the Rockies. Hiking up them babies, it was a workout. It was pretty awesome, and uh, got some really cool pictures. Just some amazing views out here, but gotta eat some breakfast and uh, get ready to roll. Well, we're en route. Up the mountain. Got the packs on. How's the pack feel, Luke? She got a little weight to her. We're about 100 pounds. Heading up, up the mountain. Hopefully get there in about two hours. But yeah, pack's a little heavy. Air's a little light. Just gonna keep hammering down and uh, hopefully not fall over and die. That's the objective. But keep ripping up the mountain. Well, are we kind of lost, maybe, but, oh well. Got a hell of a view. A little bit of a uh, cliff here walking up. But, hell of a view. But we're gonna keep hammering. Heading up this here cliff. Hopefully make it to the top. Well guys, just sitting here on a log taking a break. I think we're almost to the top. Heck of a view here at this spot, but I've done some hard hiking in my life. Never with 100, 110 pounds on my back and up the Rockies. This is hard, this is hard. There's Luke. He made it, he's alive. Not barely. <laughs> barely, but hell of a view guys, hell of a view. See the reservoir down there. A little warm out today, but absolutely beautiful. A little haze in the air. I don't know if it's from all the wildfires out here right now. It's not super clear. I mean, you could still see, I mean, miles beyond miles beyond miles. I don't know how good you could see it on the camera, but beautiful. You guys can hear me it's rather windy but uh made it to the top hell of a hike i mean hell of a hike doesn't make it too easy with 110 120 pounds in your back but wow but we're here we're gonna try to get down in a little further it's pretty windy so we're out of the wind set our tent up find there's supposed to be a spring up here find some water and uh yeah get camp set up well we made it to the top and I just got back from about a four or five mile hike. I went looking for water and it is so dry here. I couldn't find shit. So luckily we packed a little bit of extra water, 
but looks like we're just hunting tomorrow in the morning. Maybe for three, four hours, and then we're gonna boogie because we got six and a half bottles of water left for tomorrow, which is not ideal because, like I said, it's super dry and this air just sucks it out of you. But we made it. Got the tent set up. Luke just did a quick cook. We used half a half a bottle of water. We made one of them little ready meals. Ate some Twizzlers, some jerky. But here's the one basin. I think Luke might hunt this one in the morning. Then 200 yards up through the woods, there's another basin I think I'm gonna hunt, hopefully. No hunters over there, but. <sighs> I can't even describe the freaking walk up here. I mean, I've hiked a lot. I work out a lot. That hike beat the living shit out of me. And yeah, definitely gonna sleep good tonight. Get some fuel on our bodies right now, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. It's gonna get down pretty cold tonight. It's gonna get like 10, 15 degrees here up in the top, so we're gonna be in the tent early. Catch some sleep and uh, be at her in the morning. But it just really sucked, couldn't find water. That was a bummer, because we were maybe gonna stay up here till, till Sunday. But now we gotta leave tomorrow and uh, do that amazing hike down. But who knows, maybe we'll get an elk on the ground tomorrow. We'll find out, guys. Here, just starting to get the sun up over the trees. As you can tell, you can probably hear it is super windy. I picked a spot here I can see probably down this gully about oh, five, six hundred yards, and I got this little like field in front of me. It probably only goes for the shot in the fields, 200 yards, which I don't, I don't know how far I'd be shooting today because it is super windy. But luckily, I got the wind straight in my face, so they shouldn't bust me with scent. My brother, he's about four or five hundred yards behind me, watching pretty much where we uh, camped at. But it's getting uh, getting a little light out, so hopefully we start seeing a little activity. I don't know, I'd be happy seeing anything. Bear, mule deer, elk. Anything you see out here is a bonus. Just being here is the, the real prize. But we'll see it light, guys. Well guys, I just moved to spot number two, the spot I set up in the morning. I sat there for about an hour and 15 minutes, and then I noticed there was a bunch of guys coming. They came behind me in a pickup truck, which talked about a kick to the balls. They come in in a pickup truck, and because uh, they have a they have a gate key to this private land or this public land up here, and we walked you know four miles to get here up a fucking mountainside. But hey, that's how it goes. But they were they were getting ready to set up a drive. And there, there was a bunch of guys in that area. So now I'm just watching like this hillside, this ravine. And there's like this point that sticks out at about 350 yards. So I'm gonna watch it and see if there's any elk pushing around. I know there's guys hunting down in the hollows. There's guys in the flats, so the elk might try to push in these pine thickets, and I might be able to get a glimpse of, glimpse of them. And as you see, I'm on this hillside here. This is that bench I'm talking about going out. It's about three, 300. 300 over here to about 350 over there. And then I can see down in here a little bit. But definitely a hell of a view for a spot to hunt. How about that? I'm gonna sit here for probably another hour, hour and a half, and then we might pick up and head down the mountain. Just cause, like I said, we couldn't find any water up here. We only got five bottles left, and that gotta last us the uh, whole way down. But we'll hunt on the way down too, so. Out of here. Down the long trip to the mountain, hunted the morning. Luke saw two mule deer running through them woods. And uh, that's about it. I saw a lot of hunters. So we're gonna head down, hopefully for everybody else. Got four bottles of water to make the way to the bottom, so hopefully we don't uh, keel over. Shoulders are a little tender, huh Luke? Oh my God, yes. <laughs> well, let's hammer down the mountain. Not gonna lie, downhill's even hard. But nothing like uphill. Uphill was a uh, was a bitch, to say the least. Packs. This would be a breeze. Oh my god, yeah, that's what we bet it all about. 100. Shoo, shit, stupid pounds on your back. Walking a little goat path. It's actually not bad when it's like this. When you get down to the rock faces and it's rocks everywhere. Now oh, that's the fun part. Well, it's going down to negative eight tonight, so we're in the hotel for the night. And uh, yeah, only seen doe out hunting. 
no elk get to the hotel and there's a mule deer buck walking around town and there's Gump there trying to get a pitch rope hunt up in the frickin mountains you come down to the town and there's deer in the town well I'll take that as the uh, animals, animals are getting pushed down from the snow so maybe we'll be in luck tomorrow hunting some lowland Luke versus deer he's getting closer guessing this guy's been around some people Young deer, but next year he's gonna be a he's gonna be a nice buck. He's already pretty wide. He's casually walking away. Well, doing a little bit of walking today because last night we uh, hit the coldest record here in Colorado for the uh, coldest day in history. Previous record was in 1927. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Did you get the joke? Yeah, pretty funny. I know. But yeah, we're doing a little walking today because obviously it's only 11 degrees out, but it is sunny, so it doesn't feel that bad. But just walking around in the snow here, got really good visibility. Slight breeze coming up the hollow, but I can see pretty good. I think we're gonna head down to the creek. It's been really dry out here, so he's out, got a drink. But I think they're definitely in the thickets. Hopefully, we can see one in an opening and uh, maybe get a schwack at him. Hopefully don't, you know, just push them out to someone else, but hey, that's hunting, guys. We're going to get after here today, try not to freeze our asses off. But like I said, it's like breeze coming up all the So it's a little chilly today. Saw it 11 degrees out right now at 10 o'clock. It's going to get up to about 25, so not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, guys, we're tucked in a little spot here on this knoll. Got a couple nice little long range shots, some little pockets through the thicket we can see. I don't think these bulls are going to come out in the open, that's why I like this spot. There's a bunch of just little openings between thick trees we're looking at. On the other side of this hill, got a couple little openings here. There's a bigger one here, the top of this, about 550 up there. There's an opening right in here, you can see right here. It's about 550 that's off of it, 300 down here, so all doable shots, no problem. With the ultra mags but we're just gonna try to look through all these pines and see if we can catch any animals coming down to get a drink there's actually two mule deer in this patch of woods right now we saw them come down through if they pop out i'll get them on camera but i'm guessing they're heading down to the creek to get something to drink well another day here in colorado scale on the side of the rockies a little cold last night in the box trailer got down to negative eight so that was a little chilly, and our uh, little buddy heater decided to stop working. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I think it needs a thermocoupler. So, yeah, that was that was dead in the water. So it was a little chilly, a little chilly. Still only got down to about 30 in the trailer with the three of us in there, you know, body heat keeping it warm. But pretty much just scale on the side of this hill right now, chucking some rocks down this valley. Kicked up uh, two mule deer already. They ran up the other side. It's about... 500 yards across to that first ravine. Luke's up above me watching, getting a further look ahead, and I'm just fall, looking down the hollow a little more, but gonna head around this bend here. Who knows, might see something. Just talked to a guy, him and his son yesterday. He shot at a uh, nice, nice bull, thinks it was a five by five, and hit it, but they found blood tracked it for a while and they're gonna get back on it today so I wish them luck hopefully they hopefully they can find it but we're gonna get on get on the trail here we found a little bit of elk track this morning in the snow but nothing super fresh I mean the snow happened two nights ago so most of the tracks were from last or from yesterday but we'll see as you can see my cheeks are a little rosy it's about 10 30 right now and it's still only eight degrees out so pretty chilly but I'm pretty steamed up from walking so Gonna get after it, guys. Well, this whole line I've been walking, a bunch of scrapes. So the elk are definitely hanging here, all through here. Hey, girls, what's going on? Where's your uncle, the big bull elk? I've been looking for him. 
That's picture perfect. Snow covered pines. Beautiful. Well, guys, I think this is our last day here in Colorado. We're going to get a hotel tonight because it's going to get down cold again. My dad doesn't feel like staying up at uh, 10,000 feet again, which I don't blame him. He gets altitude sickness. My brother, he's, he gets a little coffee. But yeah, this is the last, last evening hunting. Going to do some sightseeing on the way home tomorrow. It's been a fun trip for sure. But I really, really like this spot I got here tonight. Got like this big pine tree grove going down this hillside. And this whole side's like grass. So I'm hoping maybe they're in here sleeping and they're going to come out and feed. It's dusk on this hillside. It's about 400 yards. It's my farthest shot here. And I can watch up in here. There's a ton of freaking rubs up here. Or some tries to sneak up this hollow. We got a little... 100 yard crack shot at it. Oh, there's actually a bunch of mule deer above me right now. There's a bunch of doe and then further down the road there was a nine point. Not a, not a monster mule deer but a big bodied, big bodied deer for sure. But yeah, we're gonna sit it out here this evening and I'd like to see some activity, maybe a couple mule deer. And elk would be a blessing for sure, but we'll see what happens guys. What is going on, guys? I'm sorry I couldn't get on camera, but I just had a herd elk come down 30 yards in front of me. I got this big fucking 300 Ultra Mag, shoot fucking mile. Sorry for the swearing, but it came down 30 yards. There was probably eight doe, some little ones, and two spikes. And the bull he held up 70 yards up in the brush here. I watched him for 10 minutes. The cows were right here. And Cows, they, they obviously spotted me I'm 30 yards and I watched them for 10 minutes and they started getting weary and walking that way. And so did he, so he turned broadside. 70 yards, it's through brush and I'm still I'm using an ultra mag and I put four shots in him. I couldn't have missed. I did drop my gun yesterday, which makes me so nervous that, I mean, I thought I saw a bullet hitting into him. But I'm gonna give it like five minutes. I called my damn brother. And, oh my God, I'm gonna get up here and try to Trying to see some first some blood. Well, guys, looking for blood. I haven't found anything. It's found a bullet hole in a tree in there. Bullet hole for another piece of brush. I wish he would have just went down with them doe, but still, four shots in Ultra Mag. I know my first shot was no brush. I picked an area and I squeezed. I don't, like I said, I dropped my gun two days ago. I, oh god, I hope it didn't knock it off that much. Uh, we're gonna keep looking. Well, guys, we're about oh, 30, 40 yards from where I shot. Literally for a half hour, we're looking around for blood, and I'm like, man, how did I miss this at 70 yards? I'm like, with my gun off. Well, I finally found blood right in here, and I told Luke to come down. He was up in here above me, and he found blood right here. And then he goes, hey, Adam, I have blood. And then he goes, whoa, I hear him jump. And he's like, congratulations. You got a five by five down, there she is. Oh, I'm real excited guys, I'm real excited. All right, there it is guys. I'm trying to juggle flashlights here, but. Well guys, my first time in Colorado, over the counter elk tag. We're actually leaving tonight, this was our last night. And five by five down. I can't describe how happy I am. He came in, I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera, but they came like behind me. Literally, I, I got, I think the does, or the, the cows running away, but he was 70 yards, they were 30, and he s st stayed back behind them. They winded me, and they started like gradually like walking down away, and I was worried he was going to spook. So I took the shot through the brush, and I unloaded my gun, and she's down. I'm happier than a pig and shit, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're about, I'd say two hours in. Uh, we have three of the four legs off and in the game bags. We have one more hind quarter to take off. The leg's already cut off. And since it's night, we don't have much time. We're gonna just detach the whole head basically and carry that up. Adam's getting some flank steaks off. Yes, sir. Trying to get every bit of meat we can off it because we don't want to leave anything. Chilling down for sure. Yeah, it's it's gotta be about 15 degrees out right now. Frost everywhere. It frosted up real quick, but 
we're chugging at it. Well, it's rolling up on a little past midnight. We are out of here, heading down to a hotel. It took about four and a half hours to get the elk packed out. A lot of work. 700 pound animal uphill, 400 yards. That's a had some ass breaking work, but definitely paid off, definitely worth it. I am tired, I'm ready for a shower. I'm gonna sleep good tonight, that's for sure. Back home here, guys. Actually been home for two days. Been butchering the past two days like crazy. Actually got it all done finally this morning. A lot of meat, I'll tell you that. But I'm actually heading out archery hunting right now, but gonna try to get this video uploading while I'm archery hunting. What a, what a trip, guys. My first time out west. Truly blessed, I mean amazing. Get an elk down over the counter, first time out there, Un unbelievable. I mean, the chances are slim, so it was just a phenomenal experience. Most work I've ever done hunting in my life, especially our first day. We hiked up to this spot. It was we thought it was gonna be two hours going up there, end up being five hours. Get up there, there's zero water, so we have to come down the next day because we only have six bottles of water, and we literally drank all six of them on the way down. Sorry, the video is a little all over the place because I'm just, just trying to video as much as I can as you go, but it's over like a week of time trying to video, so trying to plug it in. I'm not the greatest at that, I apologize. And I apologize I did not get the elk on film. Literally watching down ravine. They didn't pop, of course, they come behind me, so I don't want to turn the camera with the elk standing there. Nine doe, two spike, then the bull, like I said, he held up behind in the brush. Originally, I thought he was like 70 yards through the brush, he was like 90 yards. It's not a shot you really want to take through that thick brush, but it was my only option. They started winning me. It's my last day. I was throwing lead. I'm using a 300 Ultra Mag, so I'm a little bit of saplings and stuff. A bullet's going to go through. I mean, I shot three times. I ended up hitting him once, twice. He turned, and then I hit him again in the side. Did not mess up any of the meats. None of the front shoulders, none of the neck meat. Just a little bit of the brisket meat got messed up and he went like 20 yards. We struggled for like 15 minutes looking for blood because I thought he was closer than he was, but the second I found blood, I put my pack down, got my flashlight out, my brother was coming down in front of me, he found blood and he looked to his left and boom, the bull was laying there and the smile just boom on my face. Before that I was panicked because everything's going through your mind, everything bad, because I dropped my gun two days before that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I dropped my gun, I knocked it off, I hit a tree limb, what, all four shots, I know I was on it, like all the shots, because I saw the one shot hit a tree, but just blessed guys. It was, a, it was a great trip, it was a lot of fun, and a memory for me for a lifetime, for me, my dad, and my brother. But I'm gonna head out at archery hunting tonight. Hopefully you like the video. A lot of videos coming out here soon. Deer hunting, duck hunting, goose hunting, it's all happening, bear hunting. I'm excited guys, it's my time of year, and this trip was just the icing on the cake. Hopefully you enjoyed the video guys.